Hello, okay, so last time we installed champ and PHP my admin and brackets on Mac OS Sierra and this time I will show you how to install WordPress locally uh, to use with this uh, so whether you want to use champ or brackets or you know sublime text or whatever you want to do that's okay just make sure that your local server works okay so first thing we do is go to wordpress.org and then simply click download wordpress download wordpress 4.8 as the newest version. So I just found my local server here and I'm gonna unzip the WordPress zip and then I will place this inside of um, Champs HT Docs folder. Because that's where that's where the action is happening. So yeah, HT Docs. If you're not using Champ, then I don't know, but I will place my WordPress folder here. So there, it's finished copying. So I will just check that it is. Uh, Findable in brackets if I can even say it like that So I'll just drag it into brackets working files the entire WordPress folder And yeah, it looks good So now we can go into our browser, into our local server, and find the correct folder here, WordPress. And we need to create a database that we can use when installing. So we need a database name, a username, a password, a host, and a table prefix at least if we want to run more than one WordPress in a single database. So now I can go to Champ and just take go to application and then PHP my admin. And now simply click new. Click new, there we go. Give it a database name. I'm just gonna call it WordPress because this is a ju just a local, you know, test. And then, very important, make sure this um, language uh, encoding or whatever it's called is correct. It must be the same here as it is inside of the WP config file. We will look at that. So I'm gonna take UTF-8 bin. So remember that and then just create. Now we need to create a user. So go to privileges and add user accounts. And I'm just going to take username and password, you know, again, since it's a local installation, I don't care. I'm just going to use this to play around with it. Change the WordPress dashboard and yeah, you know, have fun. But you can do this however serious you want. Then make sure to grant all privileges on database WordPress. Oops, there we go. And then you can ignore this. And click go at the bottom.
or do or whatever it's called in English. No, please. Now we should be good to go. So we go back to the setup, wherever it is. Let's see. Here we go. So, yes, let's go. And this looks good. My database host is actually not localhost, it's the IP address. So I'm gonna copy that, put it in here. That should be good. Submit. Oh, error establishing database connection. Are you sure you have the correct username or password? This either means that the username and password information in your WP config.php file is incorrect or we can't connect. Okay. So, no problem. We will just go into the WP config. And I'm going to remove the sample word. Like this, because this is not a sample, we're going to use it. And then I will plot in the right information. So the database name is WordPress. The username is username. Password is password. And localhost is the IP address. Oh, yeah, and UTF 8 was. Wasn't it bin? Uh, I don't remember where I can see it. Nah. Okay, I'll just quickly create a new one. Well, not create it. I'm just gonna check the check this. Uh, nope. Here we go. Okay, it was been yeah just gonna be if if you not do this correctly you will get a problem and you will find the answer on stack overflow <laughs> okay so hosts not local host but my IP address or well, my local servers IP address let's make sure they match like this and submit oh okay so I do need the sample I didn't need that when I set it up on PC yesterday, so uh, yeah, lol. <laughs> Let's rename it back then. <laughs> well, this is what happens, you know. So, sample. Try again. Yeah, okay, so you can create a new config and manually and paste in the following text. Then let's do that. So I'm going to copy all of this text and we will go back into brackets and create that file. Like this. And then just paste that text right here. <laughs> like so and save. Now, run the install. Yes, so site title, <laughs> whatever you want. My local WordPress site, username, username, password, password, because I don't give a shit because it's local. <laughs> yes, I confirm use of weak passwords. I do not use weak passwords on the web, you know. I actually use pretty difficult passwords, but this is good here. Discourage search engines from indexing this site because you know it's local, so yeah. Success! WordPress has been installed. Login. Okay, let's check that it's actually working by creating a post. And if the post is created, we know it's working. So login. <laughs> looks nice let's look at the site 
beautiful looks good let's go create a post add new and whatever my first local WP posts yeah publish so view and it works so that's it we know this is correct and now we can edit the files inside of brackets and you know create themes or plugins test them out test out changes locally before you submit them to your live site so play with it and have fun